Okay, hello everyone. This is a uh, 1981 CV750K Honda and Today I'm going to go through the steps of uh, adjusting the chain tensioner. Um, some time ago I posted a video where I just wanted to capture the sound uh, before and after the adjustment. It wasn't actually a video to do the adjustment, but after reading some comments, uh, some people were asking me for the procedure, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, so. First of all, I'm just going to show you where the uh, screws are. Uh, so there is one screw here. That's on the uh, front of the uh, block. I'm going to go through the other side. It's right here. And then we have two uh, uh, nut caps on the back of the block. This is one right here. And the second one is uh, on the top right here. So basically what you have to do is you have to loosen these two nuts and loosen uh, this screw right here while the motorcycle is in idle. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure the motorcycle is in idle and warmed up. So just let it warm up for a, a few minutes. I'm just gonna let it idle there so you can hear the sound that it makes right now. That's from the uh, back. And this is from the front. All right, one more thing before we start. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the fuses for the uh, headlight and the uh, tail light because we're gonna be in idle and I don't want the, the battery to, to uh, drain too much. In case you don't have the uh, the uh, descriptions here for the fuses and the cap, um, just uh, take a look over there. So the first one is the headlight, and the last one is the tail light. And I'm gonna leave this one here, which is the uh, oil and the uh, neutral, just to make sure that we're neutral uh, while we're doing the test. Ready to start, so what I want to do is I want to go over the tools that you need to do the uh, adjustment. So what you're going to need is for the front screw, you're going to need a, a 10 millimeter socket. And also uh, there is another uh, nut just below the screw that it's, it's holding the, uh, the screw in place as well, giving it a little bit of a uh, friction. So that's a uh, 14 millimeter. And then for the back screws, it's also a 10 millimeter uh, wrench. And what I recommend is that you get one of these with the uh, gear, because what happens is in this area, it's really difficult to get to the uh, uh, to the uh, nut caps, and this area gets really hot. So it, 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 it this works a lot better, but you can try with the uh, regular wrenches. Okay. So let's go ahead and start. And since uh, I have it here a little bit too low on the RPM, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna adjust it. And And slightly increase the RPMs right here you on know, this knot over here. Right there, I don't know if you can see it. So, so what I want to do is I want to increase the RPMs a little bit. Okay, so we're up to about 1100. That should do it. Okay. I'm ready to start. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the 10 millimeter socket and the 40 millimeter wrench. And what you want to do is you want to loosen the uh, lower nut first. 
so that you can loosen the uh, top bolt so using your 14 millimeter. Loosen the top bolt. And then with your 10 millimeter. Loosen the top bolt. I don't know if you noticed, there's already a change in, in the uh, sound. Okay, you gotta be careful not to remove the screw all the way, just enough so that the chain is loose inside the uh, block. Now we're gonna go over the uh, back nut caps. And we're going to loosen both of them, bottom one and the top one. Again, just enough that they're loose and not completely removed. And I don't know if you notice, there's a little bit of change in the uh, sound. The top now is a little bit more difficult. This is really tight and this is getting really hot here. Plus using one hand. Makes it even worse. Okay, there you go. That's all you should need. So right now usually what I like to do is like to just increase the RPMs a little bit. Make sure the tension are actually uh, stretches the chain. Okay, so once you do that, all you have to do is tighten everything up again. That's all you have to do, just tighten the top bolt and then you tighten the uh, bottom bolt. And that's it. So you 
you need to do for, uh, to adjust the chain tension on the 1981-750K and right now I can notice that the, uh, the uh, RPM is a little bit higher and the sound is different. What I'm going to do is the RPMs right now are about 1600. I'm going to go back and readjust the RPMs to about 1200. That's about right for me. I guess this is more of preference, although the, I think the specs are 1200. Okay, well, that's it. That's the step by step instructions for adjusting the chain tension on the 1981 750K. Hope you liked it. Thank you. Bye.